Uh, I would say it was a big surprise. Um, we were just having a conversation and someone said, is that Harry Kim, Mayor Harry Kim? And they pointed over in the crowd and there was Mayor Harry Kim um, just walking around and talking to people. Um, never expected that. Oh, I just come here and say so hello to friends, really, and see if everything's okay. And you know, as they, they say they would be, and it is. You know, it's a good feeling here. People should know that they're exercising what they feel is right, and we should respect that. I commend him for at least having the, the courage and the, um, the humanity to come out here in person by himself to check on the safety of the people. Um, and so I asked him, Mayor Kim, we've established a traditional pu'u honua, utilizing traditional traditional protocols. Do you, are they gonna push us out? Are they gonna sweep us out? We wanna make sure that our elders, our kupuna, our keiki, our opio, everyone, that they can be safe. The state has announced that they're gonna start clearing um, this area tonight in preparation for their activities tomorrow. So we're, we are a little concerned that they might come in here and just try to you know, push us out with their overwhelming, massive police buildup. And so since he was here, I thought it'd be a great thing to ask him. I know there's a lot of concern amongst people here whether or not the state or the county for that matter feels that this is an appropriate place to stage a gathering or not. I think it's a very appropriate place. You know, they advised me of this some, some time ago that we're going to do this. It's going to be a vigil here and from 6 o'clock this morning through the day. And they've been more than good in keeping their promises that safety first for everybody. And I admire them for it, I respect them for it, and I surely do appreciate them for that. This is, this is Department of Hawaiian Homelands, but he's in charge of the county police. And I wanted to know what his position was on the safety and security of our people. And he affirmed several times that he was not going to have his police kick us out of here or arrest us or harass us in any way. Have you made them any assurances, or as far as you can make any assurances about what might happen next? Yeah. I've told them that this place will be allowed for them to carry on the vigil and you know, they need a place. Now we're trying to see how we can minimize any parking problems and those things just to address it as the problems you know, come about because there's a lot of cars here and we shouldn't block the main highway and they agree to that and they're working with us all the way through. It's in these kinds of contexts of a pu'ohonua where humanity and compassion should transcend everything for safety, for the safety of everyone. That's our main concern. What happens outside the Pu'uhonua is a different story, but we need to know that we have, and we're gonna, we're gonna fight to protect this Pu'uhonua no matter what happens, because we have to have a safe place for our families and our, our kupuna, our elders.